Hey guys, today I'll be doing a quick setup guide for the X-Ray CF4. It's been out for quite a while now and there still isn't much information other than what's detailed on the FPV model website. Nothing on it's overly complex, this video is more just to highlight a few points that might be overlooked. We'll be covering powering the FC, connecting and setting up your receiver, connecting smart port telemetry, setting up TBS smart audio, and setting up cu current center and BL Heli 32 bit telemetry. I'll be going through the Betaflight configurator with each of the steps to help clear up any confusion. As of the shooting of this video, the latest stable release of Betaflight is 3.2.4. So let's get started. One of the major improvements of the F4 is that it has a built-in BEC connected on the VBAT pads. Unfortunately, I can't find any rating for this BEC, so on the safe side I would stick to 4S 1 amp draw. All 5 volt pads on the FC are powered by the built-in BEC. Although I tried running my 5 volt Unify off the, the power pads above the video here, but I got terrible rolling lines across the screen, with and without the camera connected. If you're using a 5 volt VTX, I would suggest using an external BEC rather than the X Racer's built in regulator. Another nice inclusion on the board is the 8 pin port on the underside of the flight controller. As you can see, this is identical to what is found on a lot of 4 in 1 ESCs, including the Kamikaze on this quad. It would be nice if FEV model could include an 8 pin to 8 pin connector in their package instead of the server cable that's currently con currently included. Powering the FC is as simple as connecting the battery voltage to the VBAT pads. This will give the FC power and provide a VBAT value for your OSD. If you're using an 8 pin to 8 pin connector to connect the ESC, VBAT, current sensor and PWM motor outputs are all covered. Moving on to your receiver. The setup is a fairly simple matter. The board gives you three different ways to connect on UART1, which will cover all of the receivers commonly used. It's got a dedicated SBUS pad, which is inverted, so no need to do any of the inversion hacks on your FOSCAR receivers. They have also included a connector for Spectrum satellite receivers, as well as uninverted TX and RX pads for UART1. If you're using IBUS or DSMX, you'll connect the signal to this RX1 pad rather than the SBUS pad. A nice feature that is being overlooked on some other FCs but this board has is the 5 volt rail in line with the S bus pads is also connected to USB power, meaning that if you connect your receiver to these pads, your receiver will power up with the USB, making beta flight setup a little easier. The configurator is pretty straightforward under the ports tab, enable serial connection on UART1, save and reboot. Then under the configuration tab, just select the correct protocol for your receiver. Telemetry for FOSCAR is a bit trickier since the SBUS pad is the only inverted UART connection on the flight controller. If you want to connect smart port to one of the URTX pads, you'll need to follow one of the inversion hacks for your specific receiver. Luckily on the new RXSRs, FOSCAR has provided tiny pads for inverted smart port and SBUS signals. Just attach a cable to the pad label P, then to either TX3 or TX6 on the FC. In the Betaflight configurator, just select Smart Port Telemetry for the correct UART, then enable telemetry under the configuration tab. As a side note, I initially tried telemetry on TX3 set to soft serial, but Smart Port doesn't seem to work under those conditions. Whether that's because UART 3 is shared with IIC or not, I'm not sure. I never tested it any further. Next, we move on to Smart Audio. This is very simple and no different to any other board. Just connect the audio from your Unify to TX3 or TX6. In my case, I connected it to TX6. If you are using a Unify HV or an external BEC to power your 5 volt Unify, you will need to connect an additional ground wire from the Unify to the UART you're connecting the smart audio to. Then, under the configurator, you can either just select smart audio for the correct UART port, or to make more space for an additional RX connection, you can remap UART to soft serial, then enable the small smart audio under that. The process in Betaflight to remap a resource is fairly simple. First go to the CLI, then type in resource, then you look for the resource you wish to remap. In this case we will be remapping resource serial underscore TX6. Soft serial is either soft serial underscore TX11 for soft serial 1 or soft serial underscore TX12 for soft serial 2. To remap, all you need to do is type resource space serial underscore tx11 space and then the number that was originally allocated to the tx you're re remapping from. Then hit enter. 
Once you confirm, you can save and reboot. Then under the configurations page, enable soft serial. And finally, under the port, select smart audio for the soft serial you remapped. Don't forget if you're using one of the first RXSRs, you'll need to update the firmware if you want to use Lua scripts. Last thing left to do is to connect the current sensor so that your OSD can display current being used. Now on the BL-Haley S Kamikaze board, there is a current sensor built in with an output for it on the connector. If you're using the 8 pin to 8 pin connector, it's already plug and play, otherwise you'll need to solder the current wire to this pad on the X-Ray 4 Under the configurator and the power tab, you'll need to select onboard ADC, and it's that simple. Different ESCs and PDBs may require different values, so you may need to calibrate your fly controller. If you do need to calibrate, I would suggest using the method where you take the milliamps drawn, then what the charger puts back in, and using the simple conversion, there's many videos on how to do that. I would do it on an average above our 5 batteries. It's a lot safer than trying to connect a multimeter on an arm quad. With my second quad I'm running 32 bit quadrants, which don't have a mainline current sensor, but rather have individual sensors on each ESD, ESC. To get better flight to read that, you will need to set up BL Heli 32 bit telemetry. It's fairly simple. Just solder a cable to the TX pads on each of the ESCs, then all four of those cables to one RX pad on the UART of the X-Racer. As you recall, we're using all the available UARTs on the FC, but we moved TX6 to soft serial, freeing up RX6 for something additional. In this case, they do with telemetry. So connect all four cables to RX6. Then, in the configurator, under ports, select ESC telemetry, save and reboot, then under the configuration enable ESC sensor and finally under power and telemetry select ESC sensor under your current meter source. Unfortunately at this stage Betaflight OSD still cannot show you individual values for each of the ESCs like KISS can, but you can have the temperature of the hottest ESC, average RPM and the total current draw. According to rumor the individual values are in development pipeline in Betaflight. And there you have it, X-Ray 4 all set up. Hopefully this helps save some major headaches and clears up any queries.